Hello and welcome to my Ultra Life. Today I'm in Sydney, Australia. Uh, if you've watched before, you might recognize this spot. I've actually uh, been here a couple times before and I've run from here uh, on the coastal walk towards Bondi. And uh, you might remember that I did a video called um, Sculptures by the Sea. Since I'm here again, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, we've seen some of the coastal walk before, but this time, We'll be going south on the coastal walk to a place called Kuji Beach. And uh, I think the run to Kuji uh, is actually, it's different, but I think it's actually more beautiful uh, and maybe even more interesting than running to Bondi. And Bondi, if you remember, is a famous sur surfing beach, very wide, uh, clear beach with the uh, icebergs, uh, swim pool and whatnot. Um, we'll see some other swim pools along the way and some interesting stuff. So let's get, uh, running to Kuji. Almost immediately as we start our run south, we uh, find the Waverly Cemetery. And the uh, coastal walk used to go down on the coastline in front of the cemetery. But due to some damage from a big storm in 2016, we have a detour that takes us right through this famous cemetery. So it's, it's actually kind of a blessing to disguise because without the detour, I may never have had the opportunity to run through here. Waverly Cemetery is uh, really quite beautiful. With uh, It's known for these wonderful, huge uh, uh, monuments and, and vaults, family vaults and things. Uh, the cemetery was opened in 1878 and it's still running they have funerals weekly uh, and I read that during its active time here uh, there have been more than 86,000 uh, internments creations cremations and burials so it's really quite a spectacle and uh, what a beautiful place to spend eternity Just a short distance from uh, the Waverly Cemetery, we come to Clovelly, which is a narrow inlet uh, and beach. So it's a long, narrow strip of water. It's a deep, uh, deep water. And uh, as you can see across the way, there's the uh, Surf Life Saving Club. Every beach has its own Surf Life Saving Club. And uh, so on the weekends, all the uh, lifeguards are volunteers it's a it's a beautiful long little inlet great for swimming as we'll see in a minute and uh, beautiful trail around the beach So the great thing about Clovelly is you can choose the cement pool or the natural ocean pool. Which one do you think you'd choose? And the interesting thing is those were not young people. They were uh, 60 and above, I would say. So you kind of wonder if they've been doing this all their life. Uh, virtually across a shared parking lot from Clovelly, we come to Gordon's Bay, and uh, it's definitely wider bay than Mo Valley, but uh, also just as scenic. No cement swimming pools, but uh, it has its own aquatic activities. Wow, it looks like the, uh, whoa. <laughs> it looks like the trail ends here. 
but actually it doesn't. This sidewalk leads to an underwater nature trail underneath Gordon's Bay. It's a 600 meter nature trail. There's actually underwater signs noting uh, marine life and uh, there are sunken 40 gallon uh, cement filled oil drums placed along the way linked by a chain so if you're scuba diving you can just pull yourself along by the chain and follow the 600 meter nature trail. So and it's, and it's maintained uh, throughout the year by a, by a conservative conservatory conserv a group of people who want to conserve this uh, wonderful nature trail. I actually snorkeled out here once and it's we we did see some fish and stuff it was great. We didn't actually find the chain because we were not good snorkelers, but um, but you always see people out here scuba diving, a nature trail underwater. So uh, you never know what you'll find on the way to Coogee Beach. get to the end of Gordon's Bay, you've got some stairs to go up and down, but you're rewarded with just a beautiful scenic run and, and uh, these rowboats. I, I love to get out on a rowboat, so these rowboats always kind of get me. And uh, the flat rocks out there, wouldn't you love to just be out there on doing some hot rock yoga uh, with, this, with the waves crashing in on the rocks behind you? To me, this is just a beautiful, beautiful spot. Once we leave Gordon's Bay, so it'll run up another hill, and then we're in the Dunningham Reserve, which is a beautiful park leading us to Coogee Beach, our final destination on this morning's run. This just opens up. Coogee is one of the wider beaches. It's not the widest, but uh, much wider than what we've seen this morning. And it just opens up this wide, vast, view of the Pacific Ocean. So in Sydney you've got a, a natural rock formation and you add a bit of a cement wall and you've got yourself a swimming pool. And this is kind of high tide. I've seen it much lower. And I've seen naked people in here. It's pretty secluded down this uh, down some steep steps. It's incredible There's people swimming out beyond the rock. I guess they're not as afraid of sharks. A lot of swimmers out in the ocean this morning. But it's a great feeling when you're out in a pool like this and the waves crash over the rocks right on top of you. It's so much fun. So this is Coogee Beach. It's been a village since 1838. And in the early 1900s they had the entertainment pier out here with uh, restaurants and theaters and shopping. Uh, they had a swimming and aquatic center. Uh, today it's a broad wide sandy beach. And of course they have another pool on the other side of the beach where I'm heading. What would a Sydney beach be without at least two pools? the uh, Coogee Beach Pool, right next to the uh, Coogee Beach Surf Life City Club. Looks a bit of a high tide, but doesn't it look fun having the waves crash over you while you're in the pool? So that's the run from Bronte Beach to Coogee Beach. It's only about a mile and a half, but uh, look at all the things we saw and did along the way. It's a really wonderful, beautiful part of Sydney. I just love it. I've had an ultra lifetime and I hope you do too. Now all I've got to do is run back. See you next time. And if you like what I'm doing, even if you don't, subscribe!